Keeps up.
The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Lux. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Sorry, we're late. Welcome. You have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right. Let's go take it down.
my turn, okay? Okay? Okay?
Thank you. Minor fire.
combat. Sustain. Yeah. 
Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, East. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! She, she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, 
A town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Rand Gris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way! That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Coleo-what? And did you just say beetle? Uh... Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melchiot. Also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Barat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melchiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Valdio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science, and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. 
No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgreaves. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the Scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good Scout can spot a man in tall grass from 100 yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the Shock Trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Marina Wolfstem, at your command.
do my best to live up to your expectations. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. My name is Cesare Regard. I'll handle things my own way, thank you. together with you until this war claims my life. Carl lands it, sir. It's a pleasure to join you. The name's Nina Strice, and I look forward to a good workout out there. By single bar. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. Salinas Milton, at your service. Good Wilkin? I'm Nochi Wordsworth. Hi. to four. It's so good to meet you. My name is Susie Evans, sir. I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. You know Corin, reporting for duty. Looks like I'll be joining you in Squad 7. Like, with a J. It's silent, but, um, I'm not. Ted Yusinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Hi, my name's 
Elise Moore. Nice to meet you. You're a good man, Well. The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. Like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Valdio's heading up Squad 1, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. into shape still I can't work miracles here no amount of drilling beats real combat experience I want you all to go out there kick some imp tail and then show me what you learn I will train that experience into something you can actually use level you bums up but don't go trying to hog all the glory a squad's a team and we got no need for stars you will train as a class and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three, you get it? When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team, go home now! All right, now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First, you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Train all you want. I've got all day. Push those limits! Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Lancers! Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Snipers! No 
loose for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. <laughs> Good work, maggots! You're one left. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field, so keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic, a real golden oldie. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it! Man, I've heard about you. That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man, man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand.
Well, we're working here. A Come again. Yeah, you better. Welks. There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so, too. So, what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Galian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ease. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. See you later. cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the Central Transit Artery, leading into Randgreaves. Our mission is to take it back. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint. The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own. How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who was that? General Damon. 
commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Galia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther. I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Here is a brief on the task at hand. Let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia! Squad 7, move out!
Maintain your lines.
You're doing well. Just keep it up. The hunt begins. Entering combat!
Hostile site is currently in pursuit. Operation complete. We took their base. 